<laughs> yeah, that was fake too. Well, not really. Well, uh, the, the light, you know, I think there's too much lighting. I think that's better. That, that, that's better. How's everybody doing? Oh, well, let me tell you. I, I, I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where to begin. But it's been a motherfucker of a ride. It's been a motherfucker of a ride. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Oh, wait, wait, let me go a little bit lower because it kind of made me a little bit too much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I just learned this new feature. No, but I think it's too, too, too up close and personal. Maybe this is a little bit better. How's everybody going? This witchcraft is fierce. This witchcraft, there's 28 people involved. And two more people died behind this. This is, I gotta go to, I gotta fly out to go to court. Uh, someone tried to frame me. Someone took my inheritance money. My earth goddess from the past. Ooh, and of course, my ex, you know who we're talking about, Scorpio. Uh, I, you know, this money and someone's going to go to jail. Two people, more people died. This has gotten out of hand twice over. There's two people ended up in mental institutions because of the witch crowd they put on me. It backfired and it went back to them. Two death spells, two great... And it went, two people died behind that. One person got went mentally insane. One person went blind. Another person died in a car accident. These are the people... The, 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 the avenging angel is coming one by one. One by one. Claiming, you know, you cannot fuck with an empress. You can't fuck with an emperor. You can't fuck with a high priest or high priestess. You can't fuck with God's chosen ones. And you can't fuck with someone who's innocent. And I am going to have, even my cat is crying because of these demons coming through and through. But they got the right one. And you know, I come from love. I'm here doing my business. I have, I bother nobody. And this has not affected me. I, I look good. And I'm still alive and well. But the people who are doing this shit to me is backfiring. They're getting mad. They're getting mad because it's backfiring. Now they want to come after me. You come after me, you might as well buy your fucking graveyard lot right now. Because you're not going to win. The more you try, the worse it fails. Because you're going after someone who's innocent. The real culprit is right in your midst. I was involved with a woman who was married and she never told me and betrayed her own husband. Now, she and she laying there not saying a word and having all this scale out of control. And that's why all this shit is happening. You got on like ugly. And you are not going to hurt those who are anointed by Christ. So if you're going to do it, I'm, I'm, I'm home. I'm home. You're never, never going to get here. Never. It, you will be stopped. Because you're coming from the wrong place. You really think that this is the problem that I caused. It's not. The perpetrator and the traitors are within your midst. And I'm going to address this particular family in Spanish. And I'm going to do it here, live on the air. You've invoked the wrath. And God has given me permission. Because you are all out of control. Completely out of control. That's number one. Number two. Regarding Lilith, because this is all my God. Do you know, you know that girl, what was her name from Friends? Oh my God, what was her name? I forgot her name from, from Friends. Well, this is one of these all my God moments. And I said to myself, look, it, 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 look it's so bad. It's so bad. Now, now, I just finished talking about the witchcraft because that's, that's soap opera number one. Then there's soap opera number two. And I've yet to get to soap opera number three. This is what money, fame, looks gets you. There's a price to pay when you are popular, famous, good looking, got money, you know, and I'm all of the above. And when that, when you, and when you have that, you're always going to have enemies and people that want to take you down, you know, your demise. But they got the wrong one. I'm here being 
you know, my emperor, empress self. And there are people here, you know, with bullshit. Stuff I don't even realize. It wasn't until the detective, three detectives, because one came after my company, took hundreds of thousands of dollars, was not the guy to give me back, and took a house and an inheritance. And then there's the other, then there's the Instagram account where they're taking thousands of dollars out of my subscriber, pretending that it's me. I mean, it's like, and I'm not like, God damn, you gave me a lie. It's a boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. But, you know, in meditation, God told me why this is happening. It's fierce. It's so fierce that I have to go back to drinking. But it's okay. I got me a Western Sun raspberry flavored vodka. And no, I'm not working for the vodka company to advertise. But you might subscribe if they know me. I don't like to my subscribers. I don't drink. I haven't had a drink. Oh my God. It's been almost like seven months. I do my Aperol, but that's not, that's 10%. And, and because I am a child of an alcoholic, I'm allowed to have a little drink because you just cannot get off alcohol like that. But I have not, but I have to get myself my, my vodka today. I drink whiskey when I have tooth issues and I'm good with I'm you know, dealing with that. But no, but no, I had to. Because this is fear. This if I wasn't together and wasn't aligned with the source, this can drive somebody crazy. And I haven't even told you. 5% of the issue. I just gave you four. There's still another 96% to go through. But before I do that, let me say hello to who's here today. You know? Let me see. Uh, yeah. It, you know, my, my friend who owns the, the liquor store, the Chinese, the Chinese sweet guy, he's my brother from another mother. He told me that although this is cheap, the price is only $14. It's very good quality vodka from China. So, well, they, I, I think they bottle it there or they distill it there. I know what that's about, politics. And, um, you know, it happens with European uh, alcohol and American alcohol. Volume and uh, distillation percentage, all of that is calibrated separately. Um, it's this. We are going to talk about Lilith. And tell you the real deal behind Lilith. And I, 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 I ain't going to be, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I am not going to lie. It's a little scary. I'm like, why are you, I got this from the Akashic Records. Why are you telling me this? How are my subscribers of the world going to benefit from this? Why is this necessary to be discussed? I'd rather discuss other things than that. Be like, no, bitch, you're going to tell you, you're going to you're gonna tell what we want you to say. It's now to discuss the truth about Lilith. And I'm like, okay. And they also want me to do a reading on those of you who have Pluto in the first house. So for those of you who got Pluto in the first house, doesn't matter what sign it is, I will be doing a reading for you today after I tell you what I have to tell you on the house. Because there's a lot of you that I have not been able to give you your reading because I've been under such heavy, heavy, heavy attack that it has affected my business, my school, the empire, and all that. But, you know, I'm Aries, 100% Aries. And fighting is what I know how to do best. And especially when I have God as my shield. So, you know, I, I feel sorry for these people. These people got to give themselves to God and pray to God. All this energy and money being spent to take me down or my empire down and hiring hitmen. And we got receipts. Hitmen paying up to $25,000 twice. Three attempts on my life. All that. All that. And this is why people are dropping, because it's being reversed. They didn't realize who they were fucking with. They didn't. They underestimated me, took me for a fool, a clown, I don't know what it is. They thought, I don't know. You know, God comes in all kinds of guises. 
and so do the light workers and anointed ones. You all fuck with the wrong one because you all thought you got some whim, chimp, faggot, whatever it is you want to call me, blah, blah, blah. And you got a real awakening. And now you really have to get on your knees. And not in a good way either. And pray to the most high for mercy. And nobody done nothing to you. If anything, I'm the one who's been abused and hurt and had my heart broken twice. And you want to come after me? <laughs> You gotta be, you need, you need lithium, baby. You need lithium, something. I'm the one that should be angry and should be hurt and miserable. But I'm not, because I have the light of Christ in me and I forgive you. I forgive you. Cause look, look at me. I want you to look at me. Do I look like I'm stressed? And I was skinny. I, mean, I, I look pretty good. I think I look pretty good. God ain't gonna let nothing happen to those who are innocent. So you better reevaluate what you think I did wrong to you because after anything, you need to be apologizing to me. That's what I'm going to say about that. Now, let me see. And I know who I'm talking to, especially that mean family. And I'm going to address it here right now live in Spanish. It'll be after I'm done with my discourse, of course. And I already spoke to my lawyers about it. I'm not going to mention last name, but I'm going to mention first name. So you'll know that I'm talking to you. And it's not liable in court because I only mentioned the first name, not the last name. So, you know, you know, you know this, 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 this mulatto here is not stupid. Not at all. Not at all. You wish I were, though. You wish I were. All right. Let me say hello to you guys. Boom. Boom. All the way to the front. I, this reminds me of either one life to live, all my children, the bold and the beautiful. I prefer the bold and the beautiful for the obvious reasons. Okay. Simone Bay, how are you? Uh, is your boy, Luke? How are you? My daddy boy. Hey, man, how can I join a secret society? To join a secret society, you got to be wealthy. Influential, connected, and without blemish. Ana Ferreira, how are you? Spirit Riz, how are you? I love those little emojis. Thank you. Goddess underscore semi underscore BGR. Hola. Oh, I love those blueberries. No, not blueberries. Those are raspberries or strawberries. I love those. Especially strawberries with honey. Oh, it's delicious. It's delicious. Uh, Foxy Girl Six Four Six. Good afternoon from Texas. I'm. Oh, I'm. I listen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Oh. 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 God, I got so many to do. With her. Uh, Posse and Polish Nail Come. It's funny if they can't beat you in the dimension. How are they gonna beat you in a spiritual dimension? I know. I know. It's stupid. It really is stupid. Uh, Cranky Beast 2259, well, I'm glad you're still kicking and drinking up, drinking up. Well, I haven't been drinking up. I just started today, today, because, you know, as you can see, I'm, I look pretty good. I don't drink no more. I don't, and it doesn't call me, but this was so fucking stressful, you know, and I'm like, okay, let me have a little drink, relax, and see what I'm going with. Well, me and God, because we're fighting together. We, 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 it's a spiritual warfare, I'm telling you. You all you're just don't know. You all just don't know. Tracy Smith, how are you? Decca Gould, how are you? Kaylin April, Moa 35, Philippa Sixers from Portugal. I love you, Philippa. It's good to see you, my friend Ebella. Ebella, I got I took care of that for you. I'm gonna talk to you today. But trust me, when I tell you that the Lord and I we do, you are not gonna have the problem that you've been having again, Ebella. I'm telling you, this is your brother from another mother. I took care of business. I took care of business. Okay. Ms. Viva, Ashley, how are you? Alicia. Very good. Tracy Smith, Night Witch, Tarot. Trey. Yes, I use olive oil all the time. BB Visions, woo woo, you better believe woo woo. Uh huh. Hashima Isis Gordon. Isa, no, Isa, Isa. Goy, Gordon. How are you? 
uh, from Jamaica, Guan, Jamaica, Aruna Goshin, uh, Safila Mishram, Velvet Parker, Kaylin April, I got Kaylin, World Tar E9, Moonchild. Uh, I happen to have that type of blood type, but we cannot discuss it at this forum. It has to be private, and it has to be on Patreon. Elvira Valdez, how are you? Hola, Tio. Luisa Sanchez. Ana Puma. Uh, yes, we are live. Uh, thanks from the UK. Welcome. Empress Tinge, a fellow empress from Iowa. How are you? Very good, very good. And who else? Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. And uh, I'm be, I'm gonna be doing readings today from twenty five dollars, twenty five minutes, or one fifty. And there are many of you that I did not get to since since February. If you want, I can do the readings for you live. We're gonna be doing it from um, two o'clock to eight o'clock nonstop, and then I'm gonna take a break and come back at ten o'clock. 25 for 25, and the money will go towards building the altar, getting myself together so that I can get the fuck out of here. Because I got, I got hit a lot. So much money has been taken, all of that. So I'm then fighting with the lawyers and paying the lawyers. It's been a financial, you know, a hot mess. Very expensive. So, uh, so I can get out of here and then focus on working to serve you. And the channel because what the lawyers told me that now there's whoever it is it's an inside job and they're gonna go after my channel <coughs> it, it's a systemic um aim to destroy everything i built so this is a very powerful enemy but they got the right one they really do i don't know why god made me virgo i don't know i'm all aries all aries and they got the right one i i'm 54 years old and i have not lost not one battle I have not lost not one war. You could lose battles, but not war. I haven't lost any battles or any war. They broke the mold when they made me. Trust me. And I fight with the Lord on my side. Who the fuck is going to win? With that combination, nobody. My confidence alone assures me success. Give your life to Christ, to God. And all this energy that you're putting to try to take someone down, an innocent person on top of that. You can put that same energy towards yourself and improving yourself and elevating yourself. That's what you should be doing. So, let me discuss Lilith. Boy. For that, I got to go back to the original Adam and Eve, that whole story. Which, by the way, all of this situation with, uh, with Lilith, uh, Adam Cadmon, the original Adam, he, Adam Cadmon. Now, with, then after him came Adam. Not Cadmon, but just Adam and Eve. Adam Cadmon is equal to Lilith. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, my God. Did you give me a $100? Oh, my God. For a uh, super chat. Thank you so much. I really would like if you give Anzeli and Bank of America my people's wallet so I can get it. Because I'm, you know how much money I'm going to get out of that? Probably $50 because one third goes to them and then the taxes and all that kind of stuff. I'd rather give it to me directly because you get tax deductible. You're not going to get a tax deductible by giving me money on super chat. That falls under a separate W format through YouTube when I pay the taxes. If you want, if I, and for those of you who have been donating to my channel, it is April 15th. Send me your forms, you know, through our Keisha Farmer, the fiscal officer, so you guys can get your tax deductibles. You get this money back, okay? It's the LLC is designed that way. So if you give money, you're going to get that money back. But you let me know that you want to uh, that you want to do this so that I can send you the form. So Miss Farmer will send you the form so that you can get your credit. Okay, uh, it isn't a handout. And uh, you see what I do? I use the money to do scenery, get buy flowers, and teach it. This is your channel, your channel. 
So you have the money, you get the money back through your taxes. So make sure, and I did file for late file, so you guys, whatever you need, let me know, or let Miss Farmer know, so that you can get your money, okay? That's why I ask, and it's legal for us to request donations and, and give it. It is legal on the LLC. What's not legal is me calling you and asking for donations or for a reading. So if anyone calls you saying that it is Fernando and wants you and is soliciting payment for a reading or donations, that's not me because that's illegal. Okay, when you have an LLC, you don't do that. We can request publicly to give, but we don't call you individually and actually give us money or request for birth chart. That's illegal. Okay, but we can legally request donations and you get that money back. And it helps the channel and it helps support the channel. And you all know that I get hit hard. Me and a couple of other ones. There's a couple of us that have been really getting hit really hard. Okay, so let me just put that out there because it's the tax season. Yeah. All right. Lilith, the story of Lilith. How do I begin the story of Lilith? You understand that, um, see, here's the thing. You are going to have to make a decision to decide whether you believe in the fact that we were created by other beings or that we were not. You need to come to a realization. Have you been created by other beings? I know if we're dealing with Western culture, which is we're, it's a part of us, uh, we were taught something differently. If you go to India, in the Far East, even in, in Saudi Arabia, where I've been, and I've seen and I've been to their mosques, and that, uh, they know the deal too. Dubai. Abu Dhabi, they know the deal. The West doesn't know. Well, they do know. The theologians, those in high places know, but it's not available to the public. So I'm going to tell you. Let, now, understand that everything has a polarity, right? We got a yin and a yang. An opposite. We got day, we got night, man, woman, earth, water, fire, air, pa, 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 pa. I don't have to convince you that we are living in a world of duality, a world of polarity. Uh, no, we were not created by ourselves. Let me tell you. But where is it? Let's uh, let's let's go over here. First of all, let me take this here. Uh, here's my board, and let me take a marker. Hold on one second, one second. Okay. Okay, let me put that over here. Uh, later, I'm going to show you the imagery of Lilith. First of all, oh, oh, really, bitch? Tell him, tell him. Uh, my plant. I bought myself a beautiful uh, ikoko plant. Uh, they grow uh, commonly in the Congo. Okay. The Congo is in a uh, in central, uh, central West Africa. About the central east, no, yeah, a uh, west. Sorry, west, not east. Ethiopia is East Africa by the Horn. Botswana, yeah, African of Khan, Central Africa of Khan. You know those. Uh, first of all, let us begin with uh, the term Lilith. Let's go back there for a minute.
The word Lilith. I can show you better than I can tell you. Lilith. 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 I'll give you five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Divine spark. Divine spark. Well, well my finger's wet, but you know, it has to be lit. Divine spark. That's what Lilith means. Divine, you have the L, which in Hebrew has a particular number and a vibration. And I, in Hebrew, has a numeric number like the L, and it has a specific vibration. And then here, Lis means sustainment of the spark. Lis. If you cut the word, the TH, Lith, which also has a numeric value and vibration in the Hebrew sacred law, and Lith. So when you put it together, it is a sustained or continuous divine spark. So here is the jump start, and here becomes the manifestation of that jump spark which is eternal flame, the eternal flame. So Lilith means divine spark, eternal flame. And it has two vowels, Lilith. So it is a union. For example, what creates a star? When you have hydrogen and you fuse and fuse and fuse or you or you you can you you, you um or, or helium or any or any when you go when you give a lot of pressure 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 the atoms that are inert which means that they don't bind with other gases you crush them together two gases that move in opposing polarities and you force them together you force them together. Now you got a supernova. You got a star. Lit, lit. Big bang. This is huge. It's in the language. It's in the language. Lilith. Is the divine spark. It is when you have when you create a star to pressurize, pressurize where the elements that don't are not supposed to mix, they're inert gases. You talk to a cosmologist or a planetary scientist, he'll tell you. And you squeeze them, it creates what's called nuclear fusion, and that creates the star. Our star, which is burning hydrogen, is the result of a nuclear fusion. It takes two. Here we have lit, light, fire. We get the word light. Lit, Lilith, light. Judith, light, Lith. Divine spark. So, you know what that means? And here, and this, I was like, oh, oh, oh. give me a drink. Give me a beat. <laughs> It's fear. Because it, let's go back to the story of Adam and Eve. And then we're going to go and make some little references in the Bible. In, 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 the, in the original story, uh, Jehovah, right? Or Yahweh, or Yah, Heva, hey, you know, the Hebrew name of the world. And all hundreds and tons of other names that he goes by including Saturn. 
the devil. But the devil and Satan, even though he's making reference to the same energy, a Luciferian energy, they mean different things. Devil is a different definition than Satan. Satan means opposition. While devil means slander or libel. So we have two characteristics of, of this uh, devil energy. One is that he opposes. And the other one that he slanders. Says lies, libel, character assassination. Like what this mean family and all these other comments with me are doing. They're being devil by, uh, and even though in my DM, as you know, have been slandering my name, cursing me out, saying all that, that's devilish. When they hurt you or want to do witchcraft to hurt you or kill you, or, then they're acting like a Satan, which means opposition. Okay. So we have to understand what the energy implies. Anyone that opposes you for no reason or because they don't like you is acting like a Satanist. Because there was Satan, Saturn, Saturn, whatever we get Saturn, is opposition going against you for whatever reason. In the original story of creation, Jehovah created Adam Kadmon and Lilith. You have to understand, we're talking about different dimensions. We're talking about the, the 5D dimension, the 3D dimension, the 7D dimension. And then we have the first heaven, second heaven, third heaven, fourth heaven, fifth heaven, sixth heaven, and seventh heaven. But each one of these heavens has another seven counterpart. So it's seven plus seven plus seven plus seven plus seven plus seven plus seven. Plus seven. When you multiply it, 7 times 7, 49. 49 times 7, the product, then times 7, the product, plus times 7, the product, plus times 7, the product, plus times 7. You're going to go into the millions, hundreds of millions of different dimensions, all expressed through the number or the vibratory number 7. You all know that the number 7 is the number of the Demiurge, Jehovah. Satan, Saturno, El Shaddai, or whatever you want to call him. Because he has different names. And these different names has a particular action pertaining to that name. You have Jehovah the Lover, Jehovah the Nurturer, Jehovah the Avenger, Jehovah the Destroyer, Jehovah, you know, and then and they have and they are Hebrew names with cohort Hebrew counterparts. And that also satisfies the yin and the yang. Because the yin and the yang, when you put them together, then you have deity. And then the offspring is number three, the third. That becomes the first trinity. So uh, if we, when we're going to the story of Lilith, we are talking about Jehovah creating a counterpart of himself on the third dimension. And that counterpart is Adam Kadman. However, the gods, just like humans, have a shadow side to them, a polarity to them. The polarity just doesn't occur here on the earth or on the astral or the other interdimensions. It begins with the gods themselves. If you're reading Genesis, and if you read throughout the Bible, God tells you, I am a jealous God. Don't put any idols before me. And, but that's, that's jealousy. That's a lower form of energy. That's not all heavenly, all loving, all encompassing God. That's a lower energy. And it tells you in the book of Leviticus, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, Genesis, it, I'm a jealous God. I'm an envious God. In the book of Isaiah, he tells you, I create light, I create darkness, I create good, I create evil. Chapter 46, verse 12, verse 6. So we are dealing with a demiurge 
that's very much like us. He has the same lower nature emotions as we do. He's got the high nature, the good part of Jehovah, like we do. What is the good part of Jehovah? Jeshua or Jeshua. And again, in Hebrew, that's the good side of Jehovah. Everything has a polarity and an opposite of a shadow, including the gods. They don't tell us this in Christianity, but it is discussed in the other religious sacred texts and doctrines, but it is not done here in the West. So, in order to create a three-dimensional world of the same replica or template of the gods as above, so below, because that, that law of correspondence and synchronicity has to be respected and honored. So therefore, Jehovah created a cohort, a counterpart of himself, which is Adam Cadman. And then the shadow aspect of that same Jehovah on the 3D dimension, the Adam Cadmon, is Lilith. Because that's, that, that complements the, ne the negative and the positive, or the feminine and the masculine polarities. This is what happened. Jehovah, who, if we go further back, uh, fought against the original God and defiled and overthrew him and took control and took control of our solar system. This is the fight of Uranus and Saturn, when Saturn castrates Uranus, spinning him out into the outer solar system. And then Saturn comes closer to the inner rim of our solar system and claims control of the solar system. Now he has to have a partner, a cohort to rule. This is Lilith, the, the, the shadow aspect of Jehovah that comes out as a positive polarity. The problem is that Jehovah didn't think that Lilith will rebel against him. Apparently, she didn't like the scheme that he created in enslaving mankind and consequently, other types of beings down here. She refused to go with the program. And, she, and then she influenced Adam Cadmon, which is the higher aspect of Jehovah in the 3D, to go against the scheme. And both Adam Cadmon and Lilith fought against Jehovah, and they gathered one third of the heavens to go against Jehovah because he, of his laboratory experiments of creating beings and controlling them. The serpent in the garden is a reptilian that came in to warn the emerging humans of Jehovah's scheme of enslaving this race. But I jumped a little bit ahead. That doesn't happen now. That happens after. When Jehovah does not get what he wants from Lilith to both rule the solar system, she said, I am going to do this. I, I want to do what I want to do. Or I am not in agreement. Jehovah could not control her because he created Adam Cadmon and himself a part and his counterpart, Lilith, in the 3D realm as equals. So when you create them as equals, there's no way to fight. They have independent minds. She and Adam Cadmon decided to revolt against Jehovah. The fight caused one third of the heavens to fall on earth. Lilith and Adam Cameron, the Bible doesn't go any further to what happened. They left to create their own solar system away from Jehovah. So Jehovah was left with the negative polarity of the feminine aspect of himself, while Lilith embodying the positive polarity left with Adam Cameron as a completeness. So now Jehovah was left without a polarity. So he needed to recreate Adam and Eve all over again. But this time, he did not create them as separate equals. He took one from the other. And this taking one from the other, like the left rib out of Eve, that's bullshit. I mean, out of Adam to create Eve, that's bullshit. That was, since he could not control the original Lilith woman, the aspect of himself, he needed to make sure that when he recreated mankind, that the feminine aspect of mankind be subdued. Because if we give total equality to the feminine, to the man, she will take over and do her own thing. 
So therefore, the story is that um, uh, Eve was uh, was taken from Adam. That's not true. That was politically motivated in order to make sure that the female the essence is subdued. No. In the actual reality, Eve was a hermaphrodite. And Adam was taken out of the left rib of Eve to create him. That makes sense. Man comes from women. And if we study nature, if we study nature, if we study nature, we know that man does not produce female or male. It is the female that gives life and produces life and is a giver of life. But, you know, as we enter the patriarchal age, the age of Aries, Aries and the male gods, it was flipped around. So now the negative polarity of a female energy is missing. Actually, I'm sorry, the positive polarity is missing because Lily left and took that. So now the negative polarity, which is Jehovah, needs to create a cohort or a counterpart. That's when Adam and Eve, the second attempt, was created and that stuck. And that became the positive polarity, which today it is expressed through the earthly experience. We are the positive polarity to the negative polarity of Jehovah. And that creates the locking key. I don't know if this makes sense. Mankind became the substitute of Lilith. It seems like the gods were experimenting. The, the, the Sumer, Anunnaki, and creating man as a hybrid or for a slave race. That is true. That is true. And it is in our Western Bible. But it doesn't mention those terms. But the principle of creating something from something and then failing. So now they got to go back to the drawing board and recreate it. And this time it was done in such a way where there's no way where they can rebel. They're locked under this covenant. That is where the word covenant comes from. There is a covenant between mankind and deity that was created in such a way where there's no way where man can break away from that covenant. He's been intertwined. And that's just half the story. There's more to it. But I'm going to give you this much. And then I'm going to come back and give you another boom to swallow. Now, I'm going to pause here. And I'm going to see what your opinion about this is. How it resonates. Oh, yes, the raspberry. Delicious. Delicious. But I can only have very little. You, you all saw me. I've been speaking now for what? Close to an hour. And I've had just one or two sips. I don't drink that before. I know my uh, Milonko is gone. He left. But my other archons, they're like, oh, whatever, whatever. Like, yeah, yeah, bitch. I'll give you some. That's it. All right, let me light my cigar. Ooh, I don't know if I did a good job in putting this together and, and make creating it together, but Lilith was the original. When God, when Jehovah saw that he could not control her, he recreated another Adam and Eve, which is the one that we are lost and taught in theology. But that wasn't the original story. It seems that our demiurge God has always wanted to have control. But he couldn't control it. But he recreated female in a way where she can be controlled. This makes so much sense. I, I, it's, oh. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I need an angel donor. I need a thousand dollars deposit at my Zelly. I need a thousand dollars. I need an angel donor. Angel donor. Don't cry over that thousand dollars. Not a lot of money. Don't cry over it. 
No, nah, you can't buy. We need, we need that because we need. We have a lot of work to do and a lot to rebuild. This is too much. I gotta buy sage and stuff like. So my money's being held. I need my subscribers to come through. It's the, this is the time to come through now to help your uncle. Now let's see. What is your opinion about all of this? I know, I know, I know. It's a lot. It's a lot. I threw a lot at you. It's a lot. But you know, you guys can, you guys can handle it. Cause I got nothing but very intelligent people in my subscribership. I, I got no. All of you are very intelligent. Uh huh. Uh huh. Cranky B two two. She said, "Lilith ain't no no." Well, nobody said she was. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Chaotic control. Thank you. Thank you. Chaotic control. Uh huh. Miss Matthew. Yes, Miss Matthew, the chromosomes and all that has a lot to do with it. That's correct. Empress Ting, you understand? Thank you. I'm glad. Ashley, makes sense. Good. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Then I'm, I'm, I'm doing my job. Uh, Royal and Royal, that is the... E problem the world has with the star seeds because we are the exactly positive polarity. That's right. You said it right. We are, yes, we are extremely good. That's correct. You're right. Absolutely. I love my subscriber. You're some very smart motherfuckers. Oh my god, I can't take it. You are, I, I am so proud. I got the best of the best of my subscriber there. You're so intelligent. You all know. Both are. Bofa, thank you for the donate to PayPal. Thank you. Donate to Exeli. I do uh, the, the PayPal. Uh, we are still working with PayPal. I think we got now. Uh, Miss Farmer created a PayPal account with with um, the People's Astrologer. We because we are just opened up. You know, it needed to take time, so we had the uh, PayPal under uh, Miss Farmer. But last month we had to move it away because we got enough collateral to then open the account exclusively under the People's Astrologer. So it is no longer under Miss um, Farmer, and it and it is no longer under Fernando either. Uh, it is an LLC, and we work for the LLC, even though I founded the company. You know how it is. Okay. Uh, ghostly J. I live in my first house in Cancer, one degree. Mmm. You gotta be careful that you're not a castrator. Yes, the Adam is positive. The negative Lilith is Jehovah. We represent Adam, which is the positive polarity. That is correct, yes. Okay. I'm trying to get some more out of you guys. Crane, join this late. He's sending love to you, friend. Thank you for all you do. You're welcome. I left the camera on your plurian area to you that the creation story in the Bible also has a correlation to the energies of each sign as well. That is correct. Universe is K. You are absolutely correct. You are uh, that see that's why I said my, my subscribers are so fucking smart. I can't I can't. I can't. You, 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 you know, I got I got the real elite subscribers i do you guys you guys are always on point you get me new deities so are we still connected to lilith and other star systems as they live here in any way yes we are yes we are that is correct okay maybe it does uh velvet parker seven house that's correct yes here you go <laughs> and Vira, live inside i like the lilith is a good girl she's a good one she did not want to see men enslaved. She go, I I with this shit. Fuck you, Jehovah. Fuck you. And she left him, defied him. Yes. And the theologians took that out of the Bible because they didn't want to show that a woman stood up to the motherfucker. That's it. I'm the one to say it. Come up, come against me. Go ahead. I will say it. That is the truth. I've been studying the Bible and I'm in seminary, seminary my entire life. My entire life. I know what I'm talking about. And nobody going to tell me different. My name is the fourth house can jump Mars and my mom knee. 
the shit out of me. Oh, I know. It. Oh, God, that's the terrible mother. Esther, one, one, two, two. Can someone respond? How do I find out where it is? I've only done one native birth chart. It's in the native birth chart. Call me and um, I'll calculate it for you and let you know. Not for a birth chart or, or service, but just to let you know where it is. Yeah. Um, I think she did. She was, She did not want to partake in this enslaved caste system that Jehovah had in mind, which he eventually was successful in obtaining and doing. Absolutely. Uh, very good. It's time go to Astro Cafe. Uh huh. Living very good. Great breakdown. Oh, no, no, no. I'm telling you. All right, guys. Very good. We did 50 minutes. I'm going to give you a one hour break and then we're going to go. I'm going to get back in the air and I'm going to do a reading on Pluto in the first house for all of you who are, are resonating with this. Pluto in the first house. I will be doing a reading. For all of you who have Pluto in the first house, I'm going to do two types. I'm going to do one for women and one for men. Okay? And then I'm going to do Pluto in Taurus and do the readings in the interim. $25 for 25 minutes. I got my tarot decks right here. See them? I got all my tarot decks. So we're going to get, we're going to do some reading. And remember, what I want you to do in this hour that I'm going to take a break. I need you to send your monies to Zelly. Okay? Send it to Zelly. And that way, uh, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna know who you are, because Bank of America will register your name. This time I they are going to do that. They didn't do it before, but they're gonna do it now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be off the air for an hour. If you want a twenty-five dollar, twenty-five minute reading, including those who have been trying to get a reading from me from February, from February fourteenth, the Valentine's, do it now because I'm gonna be on the air when I come back. It is now. What time is it? I don't even know what time it is, but it's going to, by the time it's um, what time is it? Shit. I think it's two o'clock now, what uh, or one o'clock. In any event. I'm going to go back on the air. By 3 o'clock, I will be on the air. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, and hopefully... So hopefully, I will know who you are. So you pay to Zelly. When you do that, email me, okay? Actually, don't email me. Don't email me. Text me. Text me and let me know that you pay. Let me know that you pay. Send me a screenshot. Uh, Bank of America has also agreed because I did. A, I had a meeting with the executives, Bank of America, and they are also going to be letting me know who's paying. That way, within that hour, I have a list of people, and I will read you until 8 o'clock p.m. I will take a break, and I will come back at 12 midnight, and I will continue until 3.30 in the morning. Okay, it is a campaign that I'm doing that I'm taking advantage of this energy and let's hit it running. Okay, guys, thank you. And then, of course, you are welcome to donate individually. You know, it is tax deductible. You get the money back. I mean, it's a win-win. What can you say? Uncle Fernando got you. I said it that way. Mm -hmm. And I need new glasses. Look at that. Look at that. This way, it broke my new glasses for the fourth time. I'm telling you, guys, please donate. Thank you so much. You've been wonderful. I love you. And I'm going to talk to you in one hour. And I will have the list of people who are interested in the reading 2525. And I will be doing it on the air. If you don't want me to do it on the air, let me know in the text so I can do it privately. Okay. Bye.